Is the Arduino 2560 the more cowbell of Arduino boards? Here it is, the big guns of the Arduino family. The Arduino Mega 2560 Reb 3. Now listen, I love the Arduino Uno, but hear me out. Going from the Arduino Uno to the Arduino Mega 2560 is like upgrading from a soccer dad's minivan to a double decker bus. Sure, they both get you from point A to point B, but one allows you to bring the kitchen sink. Let's start with the basics. The Arduino Mega has 54 input output pins. The jargon for that is GPIO, and that stands for General Purpose Input Output. 54 pins, that is three times as many as the Arduino Uno. The Mega can also assign more PWM pins than the Arduino Uno. It's also got 16 analog inputs. That's 10 more than an Arduino Uno and twice as many as the Arduino Nanos. So that's a lot of technical jargon, but in short, it means the Arduino Mega 2560 Rev3 can connect to a ton more sensors, actuators, and other peripherals than the Arduino Uno or the Nanos can. It's like your dining room table when you have a bunch of family over at the holidays and you start putting in those leaves. There's a whole bunch more space for everybody to sit down together. The Arduino Mega 2560 also has a ton more memory than the Arduino Uno. It's got eight kilobytes of SRAM, four times as much as the Arduino Uno, 256 kilobytes of flash memory, eight times as much as the Arduino Uno, and four kilobytes of EEPROM, four times as much as the Arduino Uno. West side. That's pretty stupid, Josh. I don't even know, I don't even know what that means. That's dumb. This means the Arduino Mega has more space to write your programs, more space to run your programs, and more space to store data for later. And let's not forget the multiple UARTs that an Arduino Mega 2560 packs. If you're accustomed to an Arduino Uno, then having a single serial port is kind of the norm. The Arduino Mega has four UARTs. With four UARTs, you can communicate to multiple devices at the same time, like a Bluetooth module or a GPS module or other serial devices. Now the reason why the Arduino Mega 2560 Rev3 has all this additional stuff is right in the name. 2560 refers to the AT Mega 2560 microcontroller, which is the brains of the Arduino Mega development board. Another great thing about the Arduino Mega is that most of the shields that are designed to work with the super common Arduino Uno form factor will also fit and work perfectly fine on the Arduino Mega 2560. Plus, the operating voltage on the Arduino Mega is 5 volts, which is the exact same as the Arduino Uno, so it makes for an easy upgrade from an existing Arduino Uno project. And finally, it's worth noting that all of the code that you write for an Arduino Uno will work just fine on an Arduino Mega, adjusting for pin numbers and functionality accordingly. Maybe it's obvious to you, but if your project needs lots of input output, or lots of serial ports, or lots of memory, then the Mega could very well be the best fit. Sometimes though, when we get something, we like to get the bigger thing just because we think it's gonna be better. Let me be perfectly honest here though. I'd say the majority of simple microcontroller projects where you have a couple inputs, you control a couple outputs, you have a little logic in between. For that, an Arduino Uno almost always has enough IO and enough memory, plus it costs a bit less. So I'd recommend getting an Arduino Mega when your project actually needs it. I guess one other reason might be if you keep an Arduino board in your chest pocket, you know, like one of those things, and then somebody shoots you, the chance of the Arduino Mega stopping the bullet might be bigger than an Arduino Uno and definitely larger than an Arduino Nano. So it could could save your life. If you're learning about all this Arduino stuff and you want to get up and running fast, this Arduino in 90 minutes masterclass is the way to go. This guy, that's right, he tipped us $25 for free material because he thought it was that good. You just got to click through on that video.